We're into a new year and obviously everyone's got their new year's resolutions of new year, new me. A lot of people don't like going into the gym though, don't want to be sweaty, push weights. So we thought we'd spend a few episodes looking at a couple of alternative training methods. This week we're looking at EMS training and we're down at Body Tech in Danefern. Alright guys, so I'm here with Z, one of the trainers at Body Tech in Danefern and uh, one of my punishers at least once a week. Z, thanks for joining us. Alright, it's, it's good to be here, it's good to be here. So I think a lot of people are still a bit skeptical about EMS training. I think just give us a bit of background on where it originated, how EMS got to where it is today. Okay, no problem. So a lot of people are, are quite skeptical about EMS. They actually think it's a very new concept, but it's actually been around for about over 100 years already. The, it basically originates going back to a medical background. Uh, a lot of doctors use it for rehabilitation purposes. When athletes get injured and so forth, uh, they basically take the electrodes, they, they place it on the damaged muscle, and it basically stimulates and strengthens their muscle going on. Bruce Lee was actually one of the first people to start using it. When he physically couldn't train, the doctor strapped him up to electrodes so he could activate his muscles while not actually physically training. Um, and that's basically how you, how you can look at where body uh, EMS has come from. Um, as well as the Soviets, they've used it for their athletes and their soldiers basically to enhance their performance methods. And today the Germans basically took that same concept and they turned it into a full body workout. That's what you see here today, uh, what body tech is about, so you get that full body workout from the EMS, which basically activates up to 90% of your body muscle at the same time, which if you go to any type of training, it's impossible to work your quads, your hamstrings, your back, your biceps at the same time. But with EMS, we break a lot of fitness rules with that, and it's quite an intense workout. As you know yourself, Jason, <laughs> every week um, it's quite an intense workout, no matter what type of session. It's not like your normal type of training. You can go, to, go in a session, have a break here. You know, when that 20 minute session starts, it activates you and it trains you to your maximum. And after the workout, um, you can actually feel that you've had a good proper workout. I always advise people, come out and actually try it out. Because when people watch it, they actually just look at it and they think, oh, what is that person doing? Are they actually working out? How are they sweating? But once they feel the stimulation and the activation on the muscles, they actually feel, wow, this is, this is quite an intense workout. And it, it works much deeper than your conventional uh, training methods. Because with, with conventional training, like with your muscle fibers on the inside of your body, it works more the outside side of the muscle fiber as well with EMS it works from the inside of your muscle fiber working all the way around so you can actually, you actually get a complete muscle workout with EMS training that's basically a bit of background about EMS. And the thing that'll put a lot of people off most gym and most training is the time you know finding an hour every day finding an hour and a half every day body tech's very different tell us a bit about how body tech works timing wise that kind of thing. Um, that's actually one of our very key sellers is that uh, with most training you need to uh, go to the gym three to six times a week. Uh, with body tech, all you're doing, you're doing it once a week. Because it's such an intense workout is the reason why it's only once a week because of that deep tissue muscle activation. Um, and you literally get a full body workout in that 20 minute workout, uh, which most people love. Because a lot of people that don't have the time to go to gym, businessmen, sports athletes, they come in 20 minutes once a week. And a lot of people always get skeptical once I say 20 minutes once a week, because then it sounds like some very mark or glow mail product. <laughs> but <wait, there's> more. <laughs> Till they actually come in and try it and actually feel how intense, because some, with some guys, they don't even end up making the 20 minute session depending how hard we push them. Uh, but we do work with each person's individual uh, fitness level. It's just some fitness junkies that think they're super fit and they come in like, oh Z, turn it up, turn it up. And when they turn it up, they actually can't handle that type of intensity. So it's really good on time saving 20 minutes once a week. You get a full body workout, uh, which is really great for your core fitness levels and toning up. And for those that think EMS is only for a specific kind of person, what kind of people come and train at Body Tech? What, what's the range, age-wise, male, female type of athlete? Um, well, honestly, um, Body Tech is actually for all, for all users, just depending on what type of medical issues you do have. But we mostly train um, a lot of any type of person. Most of our clients um, are female because uh, a lot of their hubbies actually don't believe in the method until they actually come try an EMS session out with their wives. Then they actually, because sometimes the husbands don't even finish and they're like, babe, you've been doing this for 20 minutes. I thought it was a joke. And they actually come in, they try it out and then they sign up and 
Uh, they actually, it's a very good couples training as well. We have people, all the way, I think my eldest client's about um, 79 years old. Uh, so it's quite a good thing as well for elderly people because for them to go to the gym three to four times a week uh, is quite intense on their joints, on their ligaments. And the nice thing about EMS, it's no stress on the ligaments, on the joints. And you get that full strength workout, which is really great for elderly people. What we do say is we have a minimum age of 18 years old, um, 18 and up. Other than that, anyone can come and train, male, female, athlete. I personally advise a lot of athletes, uh, bodybuilders. It just enhances your training method. As you see, Usain Bolt, the world's fastest runner, has his own EMS machine in his house that basically enhances his performance, his toning, his strength, his muscle increase, and so forth. So I would really say body tech is for anyone that can handle the EMS training. And then obviously another thing that appeals to me with my bad knees is oh, there's no impact on the joints in training like that. So you're building up the strength without the impact. Yes, that, that's the nice thing because with conventional training, you actually, you, you, you bury yourself between getting injured um, and actually getting strong. The nice thing about EMS is we work with certain injuries that actually don't um, cause any, any stress on the ligaments, on the joints. So it actually just works on strengthening your muscles. Um, like I said, the EMS comes from a medical background, so it's really great for rehabilitation. So you get in that one aspect of the rehabilitation, you get in a full core workout, which most people lack core training. People go to the gym, they do cardio, they do strength training, but without actual core training. And core training is basically the basis of the human body. Um, and I would advise anyone to really add, uh, add more core training, especially for a stronger back, uh, a better front core and so forth. So it's really great for that overall uh, workout without the injury. So what is the one muscle group that most people neglect when you see it when they come through to body tech? Uh, with males specifically, it's the glutes. Uh, they don't train the glutes at all. So when they hit their first session of EMS for the next four days, they probably call me, they're like, Z, I cannot sit. The toilet seat's a bit hard, my car seat. So that's m with males specifically, the, the glutes, we don't train it as much. And it's very important to train the glutes because the upper glutes form part of the overall human core. Um, and it's very good for back st stabilization and so forth, um, for a good, strong spine. Um, with females, um, they mostly don't, they don't really train their arms and it's a place that also they that, that start storing fat the older they get which is the tricep area so they get to work that out quite well um, as well as the abs and back um, and then the nice thing about body tech is that we can individually increase certain parts if you want to work more on your chest more on your arms more on your glutes we can individually turn those intensities up to suit the person's uh, goals that they're looking for um, in their overall results. And what can someone expect when they come through for a body tech session? Give us a, a rundown of, of what, what they're going to see. Um, so firstly, we, we just do an indemnity. We just get a bit of your background, your medical history, see uh, your injuries, uh, basically where you're at, what type of goals you're looking at getting. Um, and from there, we do a five-minute adjustment program. That's basically to get each person's own personal settings on the machine. As I can't put you to your settings or my setting, each person has their own pain threshold um, at what they can train at. So we do that. That adjustment first once we do that adjustment we basically um, start the 20 minute routine and the 20 minute routine is the full body workout when somebody watches the 20 minute it looks quite easy but once we start the workout um, and we do very basic exercises from squats to lunges um, depending if they are injured or if they're not injured so when someone does come through for a session what can they expect Okay, so basically we'll need an hour of their time. Uh, the first 20 to 30 minutes, we basically do an indemnity form. We just get their history, their medical history. Uh, we find out what injuries they have. Um, and then we just explain about how body tech works, why it works. After that, we do a five minute adjustment program on the machines that basically gets their own personal settings as I can't put anyone else's to your settings, my settings. Each person has their own pain threshold and what they can train at. Once we get their um, um, settings on the machine, we basically take them back to the workstation. Uh, we prep again, we come back and we start them on that uh, starting level. And then we take them through a 20 minute routine with basic exercises around what they can and can't do. We also see what their weaknesses are with squats and lunges, how bad their form is, and then we walk them through those exercises in the 20 minute workout. And that's basically what you can expect. So for those that want to come through and train, where can they find you? Okay, so basically you can come to Body Tech Danefern or Body Tech Waterfall. Uh, you can follow us on our page, it's Body Tech South Africa. But if you're looking for the personal trainers, you can follow me as well, PTZ on Instagram. You can, you can DM me and we can get your child set up.